hello everyone you are watching cybersec live and welcome to this channel uh, this is the video number three of ethical hacking course we will teach the basics of networking and linux uh, which is divided into three parts so uh, before this uh, just i want to show you something that related to virtual box uh, one of the person has asked this question and i i, I really appreciate that that he asked so the question was related to the virtual box in the network so he asked me that uh, i didn't show about the network uh, that net and bridge adapter that all the options so guys these are the things as far as we will go in the uh, move ahead in the ethical hacking course we need to go go there we need to change the settings here so everything i am going to explain this so don't worry about this Till now, uh, there is a some something difference between net and bridge network. So bridge network is nothing but uh, uh, once you will create the bridge network, then from your virtual box you can able to access your original host, right? Original machine. But from the native network, it's it it will be something different. Different in the case that uh, you won't be able to access your machine and having the different IPs for the net one. So these all the things we will uh, discuss in details when uh, we will be having some practicals on that. So just uh, yeah. So let's start for today's session, which is our networking and Linux basics part one. So we are covering these basics as it is very important to know if you want to be a good hacker or cyber security expert so and uh, definitely i am very thankful uh, to you guys and those who already subscribe the channel and like uh, but i would also request to some of the guys who didn't subscribe and like this video so uh, that will that, that will definitely motivate me if you like the video and subscribe the channel so let's move ahead in this uh, lecture okay so we have some contents let's see so what is network because uh, we are covering from the basics so we should know about the what is network what is the network devices uh, network types network topologies and at last i will give you some references from where you can learn you can uh, know write your notes so yeah this is all uh, this is also one of the very good thing that you should take a, a notebook and a pen in your hand and you should write the important points here which is a very uh, you, it's going to very good for you so what is uh, networking so networking uh, is a collection of computers servers mainframes network devices uh, you can say peripheral devices or other devices uh, that is connected to one another to allow the sharing of data correct so what are the different types of network there are a lot of uh, network devices you have that is access point routers gateway bridge switch hub uh, we are going to talk about everything about this so first is hub so what is hub the hub copies the data packet uh, to all its ports connected to network basically what what is happening here it is uh, operating uh, on the physical layer of the osi model layer we will also discuss about the osi model layer what is osi model layer and what are the different types of layers in that but what is exactly the hub the working of, of hub is uh, quite very simple it takes the when a sender sends something to another computer then the working of hub is that it, it took the information from the sender ports whatever the receiver ports in that hub and it broadcast that uh, data in for all the computers so that is also one of the disadvantage that let's suppose this is the sender and he wants to send only to this computer correct or you can say this one let's say this one but what will hub do hub will uh, broadcast broadcast that whole information to every computers every devices 
that's why this is one of the uh, disadvantage of hub i can say uh, later uh, that that disadvantage was um, you can say uh, mitigated in switch so what is switch switch actually uses a cam table uh, if you know about the cam table uh, that is uh, contain addressable memory so switch works on data link layer you can say on the layer 2 of osi model layer and switch does packet filtering and forwarding right so they connect our uh, devices in a network and use packet switching to send receive or forward data packets or data frames over the network so uh, and it is a very intelligent network device that can be conceived as a multi port network bridge it uses a mac address to send the data packets so earlier we saw that in hub whenever a computer sending the data hub was broadcasting that data to all the computers correct but here what what is the working of switch that it has some mac addresses some ip addresses it matches those let's say you are a you are a person you, you are sending some data to another uh, computer right so switch what will switch will do it will check all the mac addresses and ip addresses from its cam table and then it will send only to that particular pc uh, yeah so your data will be only be shared to that only a particular pc whatever uh, who, whomever you are sending and it uses packet switching technique to receive and forward data packets uh, as i said it supports uh, unicasts unicast so what is unicast one to one as i said if you are let's say computer a is sending to b then only this is unicast multicast from one sender to many and broadcast as i said one to all communications see here you can you can see in that uh, uh, diagram that pc1 pc1 is sending only a data to pc4 correct but it is not going to these pcs it is not going to the data is not going to these two laptops so that's what what switch uh, works how it works and uh, uh, that's why uh, nowadays we are using switch because uh, uh, how have so, some uh, disadvantage as i said so what is repeaters uh, repeaters it, it is an electronic devices the, that amplifies the signal correct so how it amplifies and main thing is it uh, works on a physical layer of the OS, osi model layer that amplifier regenerate an incoming signal before retransmitting it they incorporated in networks to expand its coverage area they are also known as signal booster so let's say your wi-fi has a very low signal right and if you are using a repeater then it will regenerate that signal so that the signal uh, signal becomes stronger correct so that's that's the working of repeaters so now what is bridge so bridge uh, connects two sub networks that use interchangeable protocols it combines two lanes to form an extended lane the main difference between the bridge and repeater is that the bridge has a penetrating efficiency as i show you also uh, in that virtual box uh, the setting i uh, hope you remember that so this is the working of bridge you have a segment a which is a lan a cable and segment b having lan b so making the bridge connection uh, the lan b can can access to lan a and lan x a access to lan b so that's that's what the working of bridge it it is creating a, some communication uh, to uh, between two segments you can say so next is types of networks what are the different types of networks uh, we have lan local area network we have wlan wireless uh, local area networks when uh, stands for wide area networks man metropolitan can campus area networks so mainly we we use uh, in three categories uh, lan wan and man right so wlan is wireless 
uh, obviously so lan is a local area network let's say you have a two device which is connecting from from the same hotspot correct so it's it's a lan it's a local area network because you uh, the both system are using a same uh, you can say same uh, thing same internet and when wide area network wide area network uh, you can say is the internationally which is communicated all the devices man is metropolitan area networks you can uh, think about the organization right uh, you can you can think about a city which is connected which is having a uh, some uh, some range of the ip which is already provided to that uh, things so the next is network topologies so there are different types of topologies one is mesh start bus ring and hybrid so guys if you are liking this video then please subscribe the channel and like the video that will motivate me uh, next one is we will talk about the each topologies of these buses sorry yeah topologies so there are six uh, first is bus so it is a network type in which every computer and network devices is connected to single cable let me show you this is you can say this is a cable and every device is, is connected to that so the transmission is very fast in bus topology network next is ring uh, it forms a ring as each computer is connected to any other computer with the last one connected to the first as you can show in this diagram this one is connected to this this one to this and so on and the last one is connected to the first so this is what ring topology uh, yeah the next one is star topology so in star topology all the computers are connected to a single hub through a cable and all other nodes are connected to that control node so this this is the central node you can say node is a device so node is nothing but assume it as a device so this device is connected to central every node is connected to the, that central node so that is a star next one is mesh topology it is a point to point connection to other nodes or devices all the network nodes are connected to each other so every every nodes are connected to each other somehow this one connected to this this and this so each and every nodes each and every devices will connect to each other that is we call mesh next is tree we have tree so in tree it has a root node let's say this is the root node right and all other node connected all our uh, nodes are connected to it forming a hierarchy right so it is an uh, extension of bus and star topology next one is hybrid so hybrid is a you can say it is a mixture of two or more topologies for example you can say uh, star topology and ring topology it's a mixture of these things okay at last we have some references these are very good references guys uh, you should go through i have already mentioned it in the description and you have liked the uh, if you have liked the videos then please subscribe the so follow us guys on you can follow us on cybersec live on instagram and you file if you like this video then please subscribe the channel you can also follow us on twitter facebook linkedin uh, we are we are on the same name at the red cybersec live you can search it so thank you so much we will we will again come uh, with some second part of that networking and basic with by knowing the app ip addresses ip addresses class OS, osi model layer tcp uh, model layer so till then please uh, read all the things because these all are the basic things you should know and you should go towards these references thanks a lot for watching it bye bye take care